welcome back. So today, uh, as always, I'm doing something different. Big surprise, right? Um, recently, Lee Chess moved their uh, translation platform. I forget what their old service was for, or their old workflow was. Uh, however, they have now moved the translations to crowd in. And, you know, one of the languages that you're capable of playing Lee Chess in is Latin. Back in the day, I took like a year or two of Latin. So, of course, I know all the nuances of the language and am fully qualified um, to provide translations for the site despite having not practiced it in forever and not having thoroughly learned it in the first place, you know, we're going to have some fun. Um, and by all means, if you happen to be an expert in Latin and you know the language better, you can probably do a better job than I'm about to do, but that doesn't mean I can't try. Uh, so the platform that this is moved to is called Crowd In. Uh, I'm sure if you look in the forums, you'll see plenty of references to this um, site. If you can't find it there, crowdin.com, I believe it's at. Um, and so earlier this morning, I navigated to the site. I see there are several translations that are not yet provided. I see there are several translations which are provided. Um, like chat. Apparently um, the verb for chat is sermo. Who knew? Um, apparently for resign, decade. I'm not sure how to pronounce that actually. Usually um, Latin words I've seen, I mean yes they can be alternating vowels and consonants, but usually there's a different balance of vowels and consonants there. So. It seems to have three syllables. I'm not sure how to pronounce that. Um, could be decade. Could be. Um, checkmate would be matus. Stalemate, rex impedus. Impeditus. Um, now I'm curious why rex impeditus um, is different than uh, checkmate. Regardless, um, yeah, you can tell that I don't necessarily know the words as well as other people do. But, you know, between some ingenuity and perhaps the ability to use a search engine, I can come up with something fundamental. I don't know. Something that other people will be more than eager to correct. Um, oh, oh. I should know the word for lobby. Like, if there's a house, um, and for some darn reason, oh, domo. Domo is the word for house, um, or domos. For some reason, the word casa was occurring to me there, and that's Spanish, and I don't know Spanish, but, um, no, but if you have a large building, there is, like, a section in the front of the building. This, um... I think would equate to the word for lobby, and I used to know this word. I'm pretty sure it is in the Ecce Romani series, and yet apparently I am blanking on it. Um, let's see, please solve this chess captcha. Okay, this is not forced to be abbreviated, however. Um, yeah, I'm not sure what the word for solve is. Uh, I know chess is scotchy, S-C-H-A-C-I, I think, or something. Um, claim draw on threefold repetition automatically is probably a bit advanced for me. One blank player this week. Two players this week. Um, oh, okay, so, so there's two forms of this. One and other form. Interesting. Um, your score. Okay. Um, well, I know your would be 2-ah, but 
what would you call score? What would you call an outcome or a result? I feel like result is um, based on some Latin word, but I'm not, I don't have a very strong Latin vocabulary for those um, who don't know. I'm trying to do this without breaking out a search engine, which is plan B. You really shouldn't have to rely on that. Um, this is a pretty silly exercise, to be honest. Uh, let's take a look at some translations which are successful. Again, so game over. Game over means ludus conclusus est. Um, that makes sense. The game has ended. Create a game. Ludum incipe. Incipe. Um, play with the machine. Contra machinem lude. Okay. So coaches. Oh man. I'm thinking of the word for teacher. Um because you always learn about like students and teachers and Gaul div being divided into three parts and such. Um Oh, what do you call like I think there's a word for leading somebody. Um Yeah, I think it's doceo docere um to lead. And that's how you have the English word for docent. Um hmm. Just basics. Yeah, I think the, the essence of this is not so much chess basics, well, as it is um, rules of chess. Um, or fundamentals of chess, actually, so. But yeah, I guess fundamentals and basics are pretty equivalent. Um, well, minimum length. Okay, we're going to bring out out a search engine here and see what we find for um, Google Translate. We don't necessarily need to have this on the stream. Um, minimum length. Uh, translate from English into Latin. <laughs> Longitudinem. Are there other words that I could use? Demum tandem. Um. Hmm. Wow. Longitudinem. Well, I guess that's right. What does demum mean? Oh, then? Okay. Longitudine, tandem. Okay, I guess this is right. Um, yeah, we're gonna go with this. Minimum longitudine. Oh, do they put these in mixed case or no? Yes, they do. Um, est this. See, that wasn't so hard. Although, I have a feeling that like this imperative form of writing um, would actually put the words in a different order. Um, like this. Like if you said minimum length is five. Minimum est longitudinum. Okay, so I had it wrong. You'd actually specify the words in this order. Minimum length is five. Yeah, this way of writing a sentence is tricky. Um, there we go. 
That wasn't so hard. Actually, why don't I just like grab this? Drop that into Google Translate. I feel awful for cheating like this, but um Oh. Must be greater than or equal to five. Um Apparently, when you put that into Latin, it, this Google says "quinque parubus maius esse." Um, it must be at least five. Interesting, or must be greater than, or parubus meaning or or meaning equal to, or parubus maius. Uh, okay. Interesting. Um, this is the form that Google gives. And there must be a form of less than, like Mayus means at least or greater than, uh, must be less than or equal to five. Quinque parubus minor est. Okay. Oops, that's an alarm. One sec. Sorry about that little distraction there. I had forgotten I had woken up before my alarm this morning. Not a big deal. But I have a feeling that, um, this is supposed to be not of this form, but length cannot exceed x is what it's supposed to probably state. As opposed to, um, oh wait, wait, parubus maior, meaning it has to be greater than or equal to, parubus minor, okay, minor must be a qualifier of paribus. Um, interesting. Okay, well that wasn't so hard. Um, the word for invil invalid, I think is also invalid. Uh, invalidum. So I was pretty much right. Um, yeah, I'm not sure how to translate F-E-N or P-G-N. Um, Oh, interesting. There's more than one form of invalid. I think invalid has to do with uh, health, whereas irritum is more like invalid in the sense of being disturbed. Nulli means no. Um, yeah, irritum est does not... Um, Yeah, no, I think iritum notatio is appropriate. Um, but is there a way to say, like, game notation? Oh, wow. Iritum ludum adnotatione. That's not seem... Yeah. That has to do with more, with, like, registration. Whereas notatio... Um, uh, the notation, the notation. Uh, yeah. I think invalid PGN should be just like the game notation is valid or invalid. Um, oh, um, auto fix that, sure. Uh, whereas this should just not have the word game in it, because there's no equivalent for Forsyth and Edwards. Um, I should probably just say, like, invalid position notation. 
Uh, Nula Loki. But Nula has to do with... Interesting. It has to do with, like, something being null. Uh, ooh, what's the new nuance here between Nula versus Invalida? Um, Latin define Nula. N-U-L-L-A. Um, yeah, what's the appropriate usage of Nula? Zero. So I'm not saying it's of no importance. I'm not saying it's a zero. Well, maybe it is a zero. No, that's not correct, though. Whereas um, the form invalida might be more appropriate here. Uh, Latin. It's a form of invalidus, meaning, well, probably invalid, but I don't have a diction. Oh, I do have a dictionary, actually, on my shelf. Uh, but I don't feel like going and getting it. <laughs> Where's the fun in that? Yeah, I, I was right. Invalida is what I was looking for, as opposed to um, that not being a location. It's more of it being an invalid uh, indicator of location or notation. But this is this has more to do with a location than it does with a description of a position. Do we have a word for position? Situ. Oh, there we go. Site or posicio. Um, interesting. Okay, we'll try this. Invalid notation of position. Um. Yeah. Save, autofix, save, cool. So, yeah. Iritum ludum notatio. Mm. I'm not sure what iritum means. Um, let me see. Does not have an entry for iritum. Uh, oh, right. Iritus, Latin etymology from Vratus or whence. Okay, well, interesting. Yeah, there's a chance I got some of this wrong. But, you know, I'm making an effort. Peace set. All right, how do you say a collection of pieces in Latin? Um, how do you say embed in your website in Latin? <laughs> yeah, I don't think they had a word for that. I'm just going to guess. Oh, they probably had a word for embedding something, but into a website? I don't think so. Pars? Oh, yeah, pars would be a piece. Fragmen is a piece. Um, oh, but that, the fragment has more to do with uh, being a section. Um, okay, well, I think set pars is probably fine. Um, oh, really? Set means has multiple meanings. Okay. Paro. <laughs> paro means set. Uh, Latin define paro. Um, okay, 
This means to produce. Um, to arrange, to purpose, to furnish. Okay. Yeah, so a set of pieces that have been prepared would be apparently paro paros. <laughs> um, interesting. Whereas if I look for the definition of set, um, and look for this in Latin, then what do we get? Alternate form of said. And said just means but. Yeah, no, that's not what I'm looking for at all. Um, yeah, so... Oops. So what I was looking for um, has much more do, to do with, um, oh, they are kind of statues in a way. Feels bad to call them statues though. But yeah, what would you call the pieces of a game in Latin? Oh, statuto has more to do with the set, though. Um, yeah, I don't know how you would translate piece of set. That one's too difficult for me. Um, just basics. Put this in Google. Um, Google's gone kind of haywire. It's saying chess basics would be ludus latruncularius basics. Um, it's really struggling with this. Okay, regit would be the rules, um, but chess itself. Ludus latruncularius. That's. I don't know that I like that. Um, yeah, I'm not going to use that translation of the word chess. We have a different translation for chess somewhere here. At least I could swear we did. If we go on and look at more things, we've joined the game. In fact, I could just say the game as opposed to chess. Um, new to Lichas? Novu sin Lichasa? <laughs> oh, I'm not surprised. Um, hmm. Change email. Email Mutara. Okay, fine. Does this just mean that the most difficult translations or just the newest ones haven't been filled in yet? I don't know. Let me refresh and see how many remain. Quite a few. Please solve the chess capture. I am just overwhelmed with curiosity and would like to see... Oh, it actually made some effort here. Suspendisse. Matis. Oh. Matis could be in like a pattern, I guess. I don't know. What connotation? Real estate. Interesting. Um, Velit would be please. Solvere. Okay, that makes sense. Um, chess here. They have a lot of translations for this word chess. 
capture it would be Marty's like yeah I don't know um, uh, let's say there's this other translations like X hosts Y um, meaning uh, a user a player user is following creates a study or hosts a simultaneous exhibition exhibition um, Marcus hosts a, hosts a game <laughs> M dot is Marcus X er um interesting did not know there was a dedicated word for that in Latin. Um, Exercitum. Oh, let's look this up, because I don't know if I believe that that's actually a word. <laughs> Just given the length of it. Or that it has such a direct translation. From exerkeo to ward off. Okay. Um, oh, to oversee, superintend, or operate. Okay. So the same word that can be used like to warn off, to harass, to worry, to work, and so on. Um, uh, can also be used to say uh, to host something. Okay. How do we do this in other languages? Okay, so we use this verb exercitum, but we need to keep in this form um, like that. Uh, Marcus joins the game. Jungit. Okay, now I have no trouble believing that Jungit is a word. In fact, I've probably used it at some point. Uh, so, X joins Y. Cool. X likes Y. Enjoys a game. Gaudet is happy. Um, velit. Okay, yeah, velit seems more appropriate. As in to want. Yeah, that makes something. Or to like. Quick pairing. Okay, well, let's actually look up uh, lobby. Vestibulum. There we go. That's the word. I knew this one. Um, oops, meant to look it up here though. Vestibule. <laughs> Is there a better word for lobby? No, there really isn't. No, that's exactly correct. Uh, your score. Okay. Your score is five as opposed to your score. Scora tuum. Is there not a better word for score? Oh, no, viginti means twenty. I thought there was a word for hmm, apparently not. Well, fine. We'll leave that in place. Although percent %s seems silly for an integer score, but whatever. Um, uh, let's see. One blank player this week. Um, X blank players this week. One 
chess. No, let's say what's a game in uh, ancient Rome? Um, I'll just say game. Oh wow! <laughs> Here there is one player, but no. Um. Yeah, I'm not sure what an appropriate translation is for this. Plus, is there ever one player in a given week? Ludio Ludius. Um, that seems like a horrible translation, Google. We're not going to go with that. Background. All right. My sin is Vitae. Um, that seems awfully specific. Vitae would be life, but my sin is... Um, where did it get that from? Glius Clunius. Oh. Contemporary examples. My students be not vitae quam vit vitae ex tempor vitae in tortor. Huh. Still sense that that's like not an accurate translation. Well, I think I've given this an honest effort. Um, well, how about coaches? C-R-R-U-C-I-S. I don't know how to pronounce that, but... Karuchis. Uh, karucha. Karucha. Meaning... First declension. Okay... Can I get a definition, please? A heavy wheeled turn plow used during the Middle Ages. That'd be English. A chariot, a coach. They use the same word for a chariot and for a coach. Okay. Karuchis seems like not the form I was going for, however. Um, uh, I mean, I get that a chariot would be karuka. Um, but if I'm looking for usage of the word coaches, I'm not sure. Oh, you can actually search um, other translations for these words. That's interesting, too. Um, directly support leeches. Let's try to get this one right. <laughs> support directe leeches. Um, That's interesting. When I say Marcus, it just says M dot, because that's a pretty common name, I suppose. Directa support. Uh, where was I? If I put in like Leeches. Um, support directa Leeches. Uh, yeah, so we're going to go with this form that you want to support. Um, uh, I think that would be um, the accusative form of the verb or the noun. Um, as opposed to lichus um. I mean, we could say lichus um, but it seems silly.
direct uh, uh yeah that seems fine support this is where i'm confused is because this does not look like a latin word at all support um sustenere would mean to withstand sushipere would be to accept auxilio help auxilium help um Uh, so, uh, let's see, let's try help, let's try the word help. Um, yeah. Make it as short as possible. I mean, support seems wrong, or, yeah, what was there earlier couldn't have been possibly, could not possibly have been correct. This is probably fine. Um, yeah, to assist, to aid, so forth. Uh, or yeah, I could look at assist. Audio veret open. Um, yeah, no, I think this is what I provided is okay. Um, I think I've made about as much progress as I can make. Hmm. I'm debating if I have time to continue doing this or if I have to go. Because I know I do have to leave soon. Um, I don't know, I have a little time left here. Let's see. This username is not acceptable. I mean, these sorts of messages don't appear very often. Um, the username must not start with a number. Um, play chess in style. Here's one that has visibility. Hopefully I get it right. <laughs> in latrum colorum ludo style. Uh, uh, let's see. A Latin word for chess. There's got to be a word for the game. Yeah. Skakum would be check or chess. Kave Regi would be. Okay. Uh, we're going to say Skakum. Because I think the word for chess. Yeah, what's the best name for chess in Latin? There are tons of words. Latricunorum. S C A C C I. Um, yeah, we're gonna say Scott. Uh, if I can get this into Google Translate. And hopefully I got this correct. Play chess in style. If not, oh, people will discover it. I will be shamed. Uh, anyway, I made an attempt. Um, and I'm not sure how much more I can add to this. The most visible translations are now filled in. Minus coaches, which I'm not sure what in the world to do about. Hey, um, just working on translating some uh, Lee Chess contexts here. Oops, not there. Over here, we're able to play in Latin. Um, 
You see, there's these parts where it says things in English. And I'm going to see to what extent I can put in, like, Latin words for this stuff. Um, a lot of this could use help, though. And probably by people who understand Latin better than I do. Oh, uh, I made a user style to do that, so it's pretty fancy. Hopefully it still works with the site update for translations. Um, if not, oh well. But hopefully it still does. I still find it funny though, like, this means people playing games. Like Ludi Ludentes. Is it really necessary to put the to provide the full form of this? To say people playing games when it should be pretty obvious, I would imagine, that like people playing games would be I don't know. Or this would be games being played, I guess. I don't know. It, it's all confusing to me. I've not studied enough Latin to be able to make perfect sense of this all. Um, but yeah, chess basics. Let me try this once more. Chess basics. Um, this would be uh, something like this. And basics, you think there would be a word for that? Elements. <laughs> N C H O A T I O N I S. Am I going for. Huh. Fundamenta. Foundation of chess. Fine. Hopefully, this is okay. Uh, whatever. SCA, yeah, I got this right. SCACCI Fundamenta. Good enough. Coaches beats me. Um, so, yeah, some people will eventually figure out how to translate this stuff. Also, Nightbot is dropping that awesome link. Um, I've updated the link because nobody was clicking the old one, I think. Hopefully, people will pay attention to the new one. Um, Nightbot's totally right that uh, internet privacy and neutrality and all that stuff does matter. And people can actually get riled up about that. As opposed to the old link being about journalism, which is still important, but unfortunately it's just difficult to get people excited about that. Uh, quick pairing. There's no way that Velox um, Bulbusum there's no way that Google got this correct. I have to wager. Um, well, Velox makes sense, but Bulbosum? Um, that means like a bulb, right? Uh, let's see, Latin word for a bulb. Or bulbosum means um, bulbs or bearing bulbs. Yeah. Um, quick match might be. Oh come on, Google. Ah, <laughs> Google is so letting me down on this particular translation. Um, uh, grouping. Fine. Breaking into parts quickly. There's got to be a better word for this, but Velox partis. Um. Sure. Whatever. Uh, I'm sure if enough people use uh, the Latin language, which you can find under your preferences, um, where it says language. Like, I'm pretty sure language is one of the things they're not going to translate. Uh, 
but yeah. You can pick a whole variety of different languages here. We're going to do UK English, or proper English. So, we'll see. It'll be fun. But yeah, see just how those translations go. Um, and yeah, by all means, if people know other languages, there are plenty of languages that do need translation. Um, uh, so here we got the Lee Chess page. And you can see, yes, my preference is for English. Um, there are tons of languages which have not been completely translated, or at all, like Afar. Um, yeah, I'm not even sure that all these, well, I assume all these are supported. Japanese. Latin is working its way up there, though. We're going to get Latin there somehow, one way or another, but um, I'll give that some more thought. See if I know somebody who actually understands how to translate that stuff. And if not, maybe I'll put some more effort into it. But, yeah. Look at all these beautiful flags. Wow, who knew there were so many Indian languages? Probably people in India knew that. Probably the same way that there's tons of dialects of English in the United States. Um... So, yeah. Um, I'm not sure to what extent this has been educational, because I've been kind of relying on Google Translate throughout this entire exercise, and at the same time ridiculing it when I disagree. But it's been fun either way, so thanks for watching. Um, feel free to go to this crowd in site if you do know a language, and make your contribution. And I'll see you around. Take care.